It's it's very sacred, especially in 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 these trees here. You could just feel the uh, the goodness. History dances on in these ancient woods, where the Algonquin are buried and remembered. They sang songs on these grounds, and their home became a place of sharing as newcomers ventured deeper into their lands. Well, the voyageur, uh, they had very long days, so they used to sing uh, to make the, give themselves courage. C'est dans le mois de mai. For centuries, the Algonquin and the European fur traders met right here, a perfect spot. 21 days to Montreal in the markets, 25 days to Hudson's Bay in the trading posts. Back then, this was a key meeting point for both communities. And now, hundreds of years later, they're coming together again. The Canadian government is really uh, focused on, you know, its commitment to uh, the reconciliation. So Parks Canada was really open to, uh, to work with uh, the, uh, the community. The site, the Algonquin call a Badjuwan, meaning the strait where the current flows, is now being added to the National Historic Site's official name, as it's reimagined to include more of an Indigenous perspective. After more than 20 years of negotiations, the federal government has transferred half of Parks Canada's ownership to a trust for Temiskaming First Nation, giving the community equal say on how the museum, tours and burial sites are treated. And I really believe that our community has set the groundwork for other First Nations across Canada to engage in these kinds of negotiations and to come to this point where national historic sites are celebrating the First Nations presence as well as the, uh, the European settlers that came. A lesson in patience and persistence that eventually convinced Ottawa into a compromise so future generations can learn about the Algonquin culture. I know who I am. I am a descendant of a strong, proud, hard-working people. I know who I am. I am Anishinaabe. I am Algonquin. And so the newfound connection with the sacred land can be passed on. Olivia Stefanovic, CBC News, near Ville Marie, Quebec.